Hi, and welcome to the How To Video Series. My name is Philip Mitchell, and I'm a Service Operations Engineer here at Delphi. Today I would like to introduce you to the YDT35, a quick and easy common rail injector function tester designed by Hartridge for Delphi. The great thing about this machine is it's a low-cost, out-of-the-box solution for any workshop, including non-diesel specialists. In under five minutes, you can identify a failed injector, saving you time and money. What's even better is it's compatible with most manufacturers, including Delphi, Bosch, Denso and Continental. And it's compatible with both piezo and solenoid injectors. So setup is simple. First secure the machine by adjusting the feet on the base. Then fill with calibration fluid to ISO 4113 standard, which is Delphi part number HAD 400. Once you have your personal protective equipment on, the next step is to pour through the filler neck until the level is visible in the sight glass. Also fill the injector spray chamber until there is no air present. We are now ready to connect to a 5 to 10 bar air supply and a standard main supply. As with all test equipment, cleanliness is paramount. So before fitting the injector, ensure the nozzle is free from contaminants. Use either an ultrasonic rinse tank or a soft wire brush, but remember to avoid the tip of the nozzle. To mount the injector, place it in the universal mount. Line up the spray chamber and tighten both injector and chamber in place. Once secure, fit the flexible high pressure pipe and torque correctly to 35 Newton meters. Connect an electrical supply to the injector. Here we are using the optional backlink measurement unit which can be purchased separately. To complete setup, connect the backlink pipe. Different adapters are supplied to suit various applications. Now it's set up, we are ready to test the injector. To begin, press the start button and select the correct injector. Note the test will not begin if the wrong injector type is selected. Press start and the machine will perform an electrical test on the injector. The results and limits are displayed on screen, clearly showing a pass or fail. If the injector has failed the electrical test, it cannot be repaired and must be replaced. If it has passed the electrical test, press the stop button and continue on to the spray pattern check. At this point, the injector test will be activated. Lower the protective cover and activate the test. Set the pressure to 6 to 700 bar and allow the injector to run for one minute to ensure the air is purged from the back leak. The maximum pressure achievable will depend on the supply pressure. Then perform a visual check on the spray pattern inside the spray chamber. Look for consistent delivery from each nozzle hole. Allow this test to run for 30 to 60 seconds and record the backlink measurement displayed on the return flow unit. Repeat this step across all four test plans for all injectors. Once we have all the results, we can quickly and easily identify which injectors need to be repaired or replaced. The benefits of this to the workshop are simple yet effective. By being able to identify a faulty injector on site, a quick decision can be made. You can save money by only sending for repair injectors that you suspect are faulty. If not, you can continue with the diagnosis at hand. This is critical as it can speed up the repair process and free up your ramp, ready for you to get on with the next vehicle. So there you have it, the YDT35, the Common Rail Injector Function Tester. For more videos and helpful tips, don't forget to visit DelphiAutoParts.com or Hartridge.com. Thank you for watching.